So clearly, at some point, Dr. Dre says, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my ish. Because TikTok removed the sound on my other video. So let's try this again. This right here is Dr. Dre. He is a rapper and a record producer, one of the biggest in the industry. Dr. Dre is trending on Twitter. Here's why. Marge posted this video, and of course this video has gone viral. What you don't hear is the music that this video is set to. If you figured it out, it's set to one of Dr. Dre's most popular hits. Mm-hmm. She edited this video, put this video together, and in the background, what you hear playing or don't hear playing is Dr. Dre's The Next Episode. Mm-hmm. She's strutting all throughout the halls of Congress as if she's this big-time politician and she's so well-respected out here. And she's not. <laughs> this is what I don't understand. R racist, palm-colored people like Marjorie Taylor Greene they love to use the culture, the music from the culture to boost up whatever it is that they're doing. Why don't they use other racist palm color people music? Why isn't she using Kid Rock's music? Isn't Kid Rock their biggest fan? Right? So why is she using Dr. Dre's music, it's entitlement, it's supremacy, and it's a slap in the face to Dr. Dre and his fans. Now, of course, Dr. Dre has heard about this, and this is what he had to say. TMZ caught up with him, and he gave a statement to TMZ. Quote, I don't license my music to politicians, especially someone as divisive and hateful as this one. I hear you, Dr. Dre, but what you gonna do, bruh? Because she using your music and it's all over social media now, attached to one of your biggest hits. My opinion, use that billion dollar bank account you got to put this racist palm colored woman in her place.